change over time is progress. We still tend to think that it's linear, however it's exponential. To just grasp the scale of changes in the next 10 years, we have to measure differences between today and the 60s. We already have nanotechnology which revolutionizes built environment. With this, suddenly you've converted energy into an electron on a plastic surface that you can stick on your window. But because it's flexible, it can be on any surface whatsoever. Imagine an ultimate building material consisting of small nanocubes with the edge size of 200 nanometers. That's smaller than a bacteria, but bigger than a virus. These nanocubes held together by force called nanojunction are programmable into various constellations and positions. They can self-assemble and follow simple tasks. Any shape can be approximated using these nanocubes with unrecognizable detail and precision. But this phenomena already affects architecture. It has been already described by philosophers Deleuze and Gattari in their chapter Smooth and Straighted Space. But are we really ready for the nanorevolution? Today's concept of smart houses indicate we are not. They just resemble oversized smartphones. We also somehow think that artificial intelligence with enough big data can one day closely predict our desires. But only recordings of our past cannot be controlling our present. As a complementary way to the AI, machine learning and predictive algorithms, which forget the actual person, there is a need for an intuitive control of our environment. If this seems too overblown, hear out Yale's professor Hugh Dubberly, who cries for cybernetics, the science of controlling, being a mandatory subject in elementary schools. Control is really close to design, because design is about finding what to control. The new system of control or creation must be intuitive, intimate, deep and engaging. That's why I chose guitar. Graphical user interface for sketching architecture by HyperGuitar. When architects sketch, there is always a double feedback. What I see, what fingers feel, affects how drawing continues. Let's enhance this feedback with another sense. 